Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. On today's show, we are going to be doing something different. Uh, it's a getting started with show, um, but this time around, we're going to kind of do it like a challenge, right? So this is, uh, I normally do getting started with clubs, uh, featuring all kinds of clubs, but now we're going to get started with a challenge. Yes, uh, and the challenge that I'm I'm going to be talking about is a challenge that I've always taken part in. Uh, it's called the Diffuse Challenge. Uh, you can find this challenge uh, basic in the SI forums. If you go down to the SI forums and you scroll down, you look for um, where is this? Ah, challenges, signups, and experiments. You'll find a lot of challenges. I mean, challenges are fun because after a while, you want to do something different. You could have a challenge that um, you know you can like so many challenges right you got a youth academy challenge uh you've got the san marino challenge uh i have one challenge i used to do last time uh it's called the it's basically uh the tactical challenge where you you have to change tactics every month um i might be doing a director of football challenge very soon where you cannot um play the you cannot play the games you gotta allow the ass man to take the games in charge. So you, your job is to create the tactic, uh, find the players, find the right players, and you got a holiday mode through those matches. So, yeah, lots. There are lots of different challenges. It just, uh, it, it's one of the best things about football manager. So many different ways you can play it, and. The one that I always take part in is the Fugis FM19 challenge. Well, it's been around for for a long time, right? So the Fugis started this challenge. I don't even remember. I I'll, I'll have to ask him when when did he actually start this challenge? I've I've done so many of them, um, and uh, this the setup is quite simple. You you take a club that was that is previously unplayable. Meaning, if you loaded this game up the first time, you won't find it. So in order for you to play with this club, you essentially need to um, start the game with a holiday mode. So you go on holiday for the entire season. Then uh, you retire the manager, come into the game, and then you pick a club that's newly promoted into the um, National League South or the National League North. So you, you're actually one tier below the conference in England. And uh, you're, you're a coach that has no badges. So... You're going to have to uh, try and bring this club some glory. Um, and you can pick from... Uh, there, there are a lot of combinations these clubs can have. I've always been playing with like either Kingstonian. I've used... I play uh, Leatherhead ones. Um, I remember playing Margate, uh, Russian and Diamonds. Um, I've taken quite a few of these. Um, but most like, most of the time it's been Kingstonian or Gloucester. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe I just, I just like the clubs. Uh, and this season, I've also taken a new club. My thing is Stanley Bridge this season. So uh, the the, the uh, reputation level kind of acts like a difficulty level of sorts. But honestly, after a certain point, it becomes irrelevant. So it kind of affects you at the start. But yeah, it's it's okay. Now, um, there are certain rules here. So when you take part in this challenge, A, you win the challenge when, or rather... You, you can say you win the challenge, but there's no like trophy for you. It's just a personal thing. So you win the, you complete the challenge is a better word. You complete the challenge when uh, you win the Premier League and the Champions League. And that's the only after you've won both of them, can you even consider taking an international management job. So you can't do any international management. Personally, I never do international management, so it's no biggie off my chest. And uh, you can assign parent clubs, loan players. It's totally up to you. Um, you have to be able to scout these players. Of course, there's a workaround. Uh, essentially, what we do is the best the strategy that almost all of us use. We invite people over to the club for trial. That's it, you know. So that we, it, there's nothing wrong with inviting them over to trial. And you cannot use any external scouting programs. I mean, this is just honor, yeah, right? So it's a matter of whether you have integrity. I don't believe in scouting programs. So um, so you can't use the IG. You can't edit the game. You can't do jack shit with that. So if you do, you're, you're, you're I mean, people just basically, uh, it's not really nice to do all that stuff. So, okay. Uh, and what you can do is you can pro um, document your progress within that thread. I tend to do it. I do like one post or two posts and most of mine is in the form of video. And uh that's basically, but one of the best things about this is a Michael Murray. 
Yeah, Michael Murray has been in this, has been doing this challenge for a long time as well. And he's got a lot of tips. And a lot of these tip, uh, tips are great stuff like, you know, um, like how many leaks do you want to load? Um, what is your database size? I personally don't like a large database size. I like to load what is necessary and that's it. You know, I play the game. Uh, I treat all these uh, challenges, like uh, the, the few challenge, as love of my life challenges. I kid you not. You know, these are the ones I really have a lot of passion for. And then when it goes, to, when it's other saves, I'm like I'm zooming through them. But these I will, I will do it very nicely. I'll do, I do the skin colors very nice. I I, I want to have as many clues as possible. So these all stand out. 14, 13, 14, That's not too bad. So I've got okay certain areas of the game in terms of the like marking, for example, uh, technicals. Liam Tang, not too good. Uh, central defenders in jumping range, just average 11 and 12. This, I mean, this would be good, right? So it meets the needs of the league. Um, then strength is 13. Uh, I still think that we are going to have a slight issue. Okay, so what's the second thing that I do? Second thing that I do is I actually go to the scouting panel. I come in here and I go value is zero. They are all interested. We've got a whole bunch of people here. And this is where it becomes very, very annoying. Uh, first, so it's, I have to do it in a very easy way. So we go for position, natural at goalkeeper. All right, so now we got all the goalkeepers, so it's smaller. So I go in here, I click on all of these guys. I transfer and I offer them a trial. A big bunch of them. So as you can see, uh, we, don't have, we only have our coaches. You can see a lot of players. I, I'm going to be very simple. I'll go inside here. I look for current ability that's very high. That's the quick way of knowing who I'm going to pay attention to. I was uh, this. This is another player uh, who's playing to his ability, uh, and we'll be going through the lists very quickly. And now we just have a few more days. I will. It'll take a few days, like a, a few weeks, before we see the total, um, the whole, the whole picture. So now they're not even in there. So. I'll quick pick the first team. So we got the first team here playing against the under 18s. And probably the under 18s, the reserves are all the all the guys on trial. So this is gonna be fun. And I'm not gonna change anything. I'm just gonna let the ass man decide who's gonna be playing. And we'll play. And chances are we're probably gonna get hammered. This is our under 18 side. We've got, let me scroll down. I think about 300 players at the club at the moment on trial <laughs> and now how do you go through all these players i mean like this, this might scare people and they go like oh my god there's so many players you're looking at how do you actually do this efficiently yeah some people might find that very um difficult but okay we got some more all right just come on come on down for a trial <laughs> we'll offer you all trials no worries just come on yeah, yeah, some of these players I can't try. I can't. I will not be able to offer trials because they're already here. But what I do is I take all the boys from the under 18s. It's really easy. All you gotta do is Control A, and you got 123. Yes, I think I've dumped a few players. The height, the highest I had was 300. Yeah. So we we add them to the short list, right? So you add them to your short list, and then you go to scouting, and then you go to short list. And you'll have all the players in your scout list. And then you can go and uh, you can actually... See, I've got this boy on trial, right? So, and this is what's going to happen. You click on you click on this one time and it, it will tell you, this is the best person in your squad. And I'm going, okay, that's one hell of a fast way to find out. Which you know, And this is the game telling you, right? So he's your best midfielder. So the biggest challenge you're going to have very early on is how the heck do you manage that budget? All right. The best way to do this is go through your squad and identify all the players you don't need. Put them into one corner. All right. You can't sell them. You won't be able to sell them. Nobody's going to buy them. But at least you know, um, you will know how many you got assigned. The second thing you need to understand is you have to go through your squad and identify the kind of tactics that you can use. This is the hardest thing to do in the game. And generally, I always fall back to something that I know. Right here, we've already managed to sign. I've got Jack Damon who just walked through the door. So he has uh, wa he wants to join the club. So that was kind of cool because Jack Damon, I've used him before in uh, in um, FM 17. So I know what kind of a defender he is. 
So when I'm look, looking at my own team I, and I discovered, okay, fine, uh, this team has got some decent central midfielders. We need to strengthen the fullback department. And I looked up and I went, okay, they can actually play a 4-2-3-1. Uh, so I'm going to use a 4-2-3-1. Then because we have, uh, we just need to get two more midfielders. It'll give me a chance to play the 4 3 one too, one of my favorite tactics. And this is also another good option because it's a narrow tactic and I can hit with two strikers over the top. I always find that non-league side, non-league football, um, it's better to be le- uh, less crafty and more direct <laughs> with my styles. So I've got another one here which is going to be hit them over the top as well. So I've got tactics where I, I, I plan to hit teams over the top. And it's, it's all set up for me to try and hit them on the counters. And you can't wing your way through this, right? So, so I've got players, I've got strikers. I, I'm gonna go with a, a certain attribute cluster for my DNA. Um, I'm looking for acceleration. I'm looking for defenders to have some positioning. I'm looking for all my midfielders to have posi- positioning and off the ball. So when I sign anybody, they have to fill that criteria up. So if I'm looking for a midfielder, I'm looking for positioning and off the ball. Determination will be good, but it's in such short supply that you can't really go out there and say, okay, fine, everybody has to have great determination. No, uh, I, I can't really depend on that because it's early in the season. Then, uh, tactically, training, um, we're going to have issues later because the, the coaches aren't good enough. So, you got to go out there and um, handle the coaching department because uh, the, in terms of coaching, we've got three slots because I just fired another coach. We don't have anybody for short stopping. <laughs> so, like everybody's like, okay, what are we going to do? So, coach, coaching-wise, we are really, really thin. Uh, so, I got my ass man who's covering literally every single... Every single uh, speci- uh, specialization. Look at that. Look at my ass, man. He's a he's a genius. Gareth Richards, uh, one of the coaches that we have. We got Gareth Roberts. We got Gareth Richards. Wow, they 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 are they are definitely a twosome. So we that's what our plan. Our plan is to make sure that uh, we we get ourselves sorted before the season starts. So there are many ways to start this. The future. This just happens to be mine, and I'm sure that there are others that work just as well. I just uh, like to take my own sweet ass time with this and have fun. So if you are keen on an interesting challenge, I'm sure there are others out there that are fun. But um, this is the one I do every season. So I look forward to hearing from all of you. I hope you found this short little video useful. Please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to FM.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel to make this kind of show as possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.